In a recent webinar, I was asked by one of the members, how do you back up your WordPress blogs? We're talking about self-hosted Word, WordPress blogs, of course. I'm going to show you how you do that. I've logged into a sample blog that I have here. I come down to Plugins, click on Add New. Then in the Search Plugins field here, I'm going to type in Backup Manager. And you can see there's a number of available plugins. Backup Migration is the one we use. I'm happy to recommend it. Click on Install Now. Then click on Activate. And at this point, I always skip. Now, depending on the kind of hosting that you have, you may need to make a change in the Other Options panel here. For my particular hosting, I need to make this change. If you run the backup and you get an error message, then you may want to try the setting I'm about to show you. So we click on Other Options. And then as we scroll down, we can see an option here to disable PHP CLI checking. So I'm going to check that, and this will use what they call a legacy method. Let me scroll down and save. And that will avoid the problem for my particular web hosting. Depending on the web hosting you have, you may not need to do that. Click on the Create Backup button here. You will get a warning about the size of your backup. This does depend on how big your blog is, of course. A very small blog uh, won't produce as much data as this and if you have a really big blog then it may be an even bigger file. Then click on create the backup and be patient for a few minutes while the backup is created. The length of time it will take depends on the size of your blog. So my backup has now finished successfully. I can download the backup from here and if you have multiple blogs I would recommend changing this file name so that you remember the name of the blog that it was from. So in my case, it's my test site. And then just click Save. The file will download, and as soon as it's finished downloading, you can then close this window. And I would recommend at that point that you actually delete the backup file. I'll show you how to do that as soon as the backup has finished downloading to my computer. So now I'm closing the window. Now, if you ever have a crash with your blog and you need to reinstall it yourself, you start by installing a brand new blank and empty blog. What you then do is add this plugin, Backup Migration. When you've done that and activated the plugin, you come to the Manage and Restore Backup tab here. Then you click on Upload Backup Files. And then you browse for the file that you saved previously when you created the backup file. Now, if you remember, I called mine by the name of my site, so I remembered which one it was. This is the file. Click on Open. It will take a little while to upload, depending on the size of the backup, of course. Click on OK and Close. And now the file has been uploaded to your server. At this point, you have the option to restore from here. I don't need to do that because this is just an example, so I'm going to delete the file. But after you've restored, you can delete the file to clean up when you've finished. How long it takes to complete the restore does depend on the size of the file and the backup. We'd recommend that you make a backup at least once or twice a month, and if you make frequent posts and add a great deal of media and so on, so there's a lot more that might potentially be lost, we'd recommend that you make backups more frequently. If you'd like more of this kind of training, have a look at prosperitive.com join, where you can find out more about the specialized training we give our members.